tumultuous nine months for the 3DS, but within the last few weeks, the system has finally turned a corner. It's gotten a flagship game for online multiplayer, Mario has come along and justified stereoscopic 3D, the console is finally back on track, but another important step in that push forward is this. What recognizable faces have done for the 3DS at retail, these adorable little newcomers have done on the download front. In a sense, this is to the eShop as World of Goo was to WiiWare. This is its killer app. This is its first must-have title. And this is more like it, Nintendo. Pushmo is a brilliant puzzle game from Intelligent Systems, the same Nintendo team behind little games like Paper Mario, Fire Emblem, and WarioWare. It's a real sign of a studio's genius when it can create games as diverse as intelligent systems and make them as consistently great, but Pushmo stands out in their portfolio. Rather than a sequel to an established franchise, this is a brand new IP from Nintendo on the 3DS. Oh, business just picked up. <laughs> There are so many things I love about this game, but above all else, this game is delightfully original. You play as a chubby little guy named Malo, basically a plump mixture of Mario's Shy Guy and Kirby's Waddle D. But unlike his apparent Nintendo relatives, Malo is a hero. Not to mention one with a really sharp acumen for puzzles. It's Malo's job, and by extension yours, to rescue the small children that have been trapped within the Pushmo these colorful stacks of blocks scattered across Mallow's world. Now they're stranded on top, so all you have to do is climb the blocks. Sounds simple, but of course what makes this game so great is how you do this. The Pushmo look flat at first, but things aren't what they seem. Malo can pull the individual blocks forward, essentially creating steps. You have three steps of depth to work with, but that's it. Once you pull them out three steps, you can't pull any further. And that's what the puzzles are about, figuring out how to reach the top with those restrictions. The real beauty here is the simplicity. Malo can walk and jump, push and pull. He doesn't need to do anything else. They're simple, accessible mechanics that never complicate things with needless excess. This is a perfect example of a theory I've always had about game design, that you can create really complex and clever gameplay with very simple controls and mechanics. And Intelligent Systems goes all out when it comes to puzzle designs. Pushmo is not as easy as its cuddly exterior may suggest. This is a very tricky game, and as you make your way through its 250 stages, it gets more and more challenging. But if you need a break from puzzle solving, you can actually try a little puzzle creating in what might be Pushmo's greatest feature, the Pushmo Studio. Here you can design and share your very own Pushmo. You have a full set of tools to work with, and the game actually creates a scannable QR code for each level you make. Sharing your creations with friends is that easy. Pushmo is a huge step for the 3DS. In fact, this is a huge step for Nintendo, as it's perhaps the company's best downloadable game to date. It's been a bumpy ride for the 3DS, but man, this, this is starting to get really good. 